Tim, <coughs> the borrowing that the council is proposing to take is uh, prudential borrowing. So before any decision is being taken, it's very important that we, we follow a set of criteria to ensure that we can sustainably afford to repay that borrowing over a period of time. So uh, to give you uh, an example, the, uh, the consideration of the previous item, and uh, Southampton Road, is an item where we are seeking to borrow some money, but that borrowing is more than repaid by the revenue that that borrowing uh, generates. Um, in terms of the use of reserves, uh, reserves have been set aside for specific reasons. There's a small amount of money uh, which is held for um, for rainy days, uh, but generally speaking, the money has been identified to be used on capital schemes, and that's been committed. To that. That's been fully planned. That's how we're able to afford the borrowing. The current rates of borrowing are historically as low as you're likely to see. Um, and yet the revenues and the yields that we can generate from spending that money are, are still sustainably high. Thank you. And I think it's important as well to emphasise that point again. It looks as if, and this is the case with many councils, if they've got piles of reserves. But the fact is, the amount of unallocated reserves that we have is, is less than a million pounds, no? less than two million pounds. Yeah. So, <coughs> while we might have lots of money in the bank, and it's either allocated for capital schemes or it's in transit. Most of the money we collect goes to Hampshire County Council, and there's council tax or there's business rates that get sent off the door draws for But we try and maximise the income on that money while it is in our hands. Okay, so I think.